Now, we as Muslims just laugh at Mr. Darwin. And long before he was even a little bitty monkey, <laughs> the Quran clearly stated where everything came from. Not just human beings, everything. And if you feel like you have to resolve this issue of where we came from by tracing it back to, you know, something swinging in the jungle, even if you did that, well, where did the monkey come from? And he said, well, monkeys, you know, they came from marmosets. Okay, well, where'd they come from? Well, they came from some little creepy crawly things. Well, where'd they come from? Well, they came up out of the water. Why? I saw this, I'm not joking, I saw this in a biology book that was written for little kids. Okay, it's that famous picture. You've seen the picture, haven't you? Where there's this little creature thing and it gets bigger and becomes a, like a monkey and an ape and there's a knuckle dragon guy and then, you know, it looks like my brother-in-law and then it goes down to the... <laughs> And all of a sudden, he got a homo sapien, you know. In that same book, I turned the page, and it was explaining how creatures got on land to start with. And it showed the earth. It was a drawing, of course. Uh, the earth is there. It's all covered with water. No problem with that. We got that in Islam. It's in the Quran. Then there's this blue-green algae. Now, already... Check this out. Already you know they're lying to you. Already you know they're lying. How do you know they're lying? How do they know what color it was? Huh? How do you know what color it was? Because it's only a theory. If they would have said there was some substance around there that might have been what? Algae? Okay. But to give a color to it... Ah, sorry. The next thing it shows is that there's something eating it. And the expression under the picture says, something had to come along and eat it. Why? Where did it come from? How did something eat it? Did it evolve from the algae? In which case, it was a cannibal. And it wouldn't be long, there wouldn't be any left. And then it would all be dead. And then what? Anyway, it shows those things. And then it shows something bigger eating that guy. With no expression there at all. Just something bigger came and ate it. And bigger and bigger and different. And then it starts showing all these different creatures. Which did exist, to some degree anyway, some millions of years ago. But here's how they explain that those creatures got away from being fish-like animals and got out on the land. This is really crazy. It's said that how they got on land was over millions of years trying to jump up and jump up and catch those, you know, the dragonflies that were going over. It showed dragonflies flying over and they're jumping up and after millions of years, those gills started going out. You know, the fins started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and they became wings and the next thing, whew, whew, cool stuff. <laughs> Steven Spielberg needs to learn from these guys. <laughs> That's good stuff. I forgot to ask one question. Where did the dragonflies come from? Anybody that wants to come up with that kind of stuff has to fabricate evidences because there isn't any evidence and if you want to go to Google don't trust me trust Monsieur Google go to the internet and type in we'll go to Google and type in the word pilt down P-I-L-T D-O-W-N pilt down that's all it's pilt down England that's what it is that's the name of a city and watch what comes up it's the name of a city it's the place of Piltdown Man. So put that word there too, Piltdown Man. Because they fabricated, about a hundred years ago, the body parts or cranial parts of what was supposed to be the missing link. And they put it in a university, it was on display, people wrote thesis about it, they made a lot of money off of this thing, people became uh, doctors and they were knighted sir and everything else oh yeah 
And then one day, somebody really examined it and found that it was actually a part of two different things. Part of it was from an ape from right here in, in uh, Africa. And I forget what the other thing was. But it was two different parts that they just put together like that. So, watch what they did. I like these guys. They just uh, moved the display back, swept out the floor, put some other stuff up, and that's it. That's it. Evolution. And they have spent millions and millions of dollars trying to convince us that we came from monkeys. And you want to know why? You live in South Africa, you already know why. You know why. It's so that you can say one group of people is better than another group of people. That's exactly why they did it.